Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a very quick, very short video on how to manage the salary cap in Major League Soccer via the Football Manager 2018 database. So here we are with my team, Montreal Impact. And let's take a look. The first thing you want to do when managing your salary cap is to look at your finances. But not this screen, not the screen you normally look at because these numbers are all stupid and useless and you don't need any of them. What you want to look at is this button up here, League Specific. That's right, there we have ye old salary cap for Major League Soccer. As you can see, I'm a very good boy, so I have $838,000 remaining on my cap because I trade away all my old and expensive useless players, but not everybody does that. But anyway, perhaps uh, in your save, you've got zero dollars remaining here or some other uh, insignificant paltry number that you, you can't do anything with, and you're asking yourself, how do I uh, manage this? How do I get uh, some more money? What do I do? Well, first thing you gotta do is look over here to the right to general allocation money. I have $675,000 available. Every team in the league gets some money to start the the season off with, you know, be 150, 300,000 somewhere around there. You get more of this money by trading with other teams. You get more of this money by tr by transferring players out of the league. The league will then compensate you for some value, some percentage value of those players. Basically, you get money to acquire players from Major League Soccer. That's what this money is all about. It's all about keeping parity in the league and being able to bring players in and mess with this salary cap. So now that you know you have some general allocation money available, how do you use it? Where do you spend it? Well, here we go. Let's get right to it. You go to the squad station here. Go to registration. And here you can see now your registration. There's your salary cap, there's your numbers, all that kind of stuff. And you might be wondering, what is the impact of these players? Like, how can I, how do I know how much of this value or whatever is counting against the salary cap? Well, they've got a handy dandy contract screen where you can see the salary cap. Let's uh, edge this over here. And here is the column, cap impact. Look at that. We got a bunch of guys with zero. So what you want to do, if you want to buy down your salary cap, is find a player on your team who has a salary cap impact here, not one of these zero dudes, one of these guys with a number here, and crucially, they have to not be a designated player. They have to be a senior contract player. I don't have time to explain that to y'all, but just if he doesn't say DP or DPI, he's good. So this guy here, Carlos Alberto, has a cap impact of 525000 That's quite a bit. So to buy down his contract, that's what you have to think about. You are buying down an individual contract. You are not buying down the salary cap as a whole. So you click on Alberto. You go to his contract, and there's a little slider right here. Look at this. Woo, cap impact slider. We have our 675000 in general allocation money here, we have his salary cap impact over here, and we can click and click and click until we can spend as much as we want, or as little as we want, just to make the impact go away. So we're going to spend him down all the way to zero. Look at that. We got 140000 left in, in cap. We're going to confirm that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little warning there. And now his salary cap is uh, zero. Go back to our registration here. And you see he's no longer on the list. He's no longer on the list. He's one of these zero boys now. Where'd he go? There he is, Carlos Alberto. He's a zero boy. We can go back to our finances, league specific. Um, this didn't change. This didn't change. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why that didn't change. But uh, I guess it's got to update. It's got to go through another day to update. But anyway, trust me. Trust me on this. You see here, our salary cap has done, gone down to $2.7 million. So there we are. That's how you do it. You buy down an individual contract. You don't try to mess with the salary cap as a whole. So I hope that helped out. So until next time, uh, see you later. Bye-bye.